Yeah, holy! What's good, everybody? It's your boy Roman Plus here with the top five attackers of the entire One Piece Bounty Rush game total century. Now, five characters. I got a little bit of gameplay that we're gonna go along. It's gonna be showing behind me, and we're gonna kind of go over who's like the pros and cons and why they're good and why they're bad. So, first up, number one, number five of like the fifth place, number rank five out of five of not number one, so not or four, three, two. So, number five, we got Jack the Drought is where I'm gonna put him. He's good. He does damage. He's your Kaido killer. I think he's one of the top people for killing Kaido. He's maybe even better than like Roger or e definitely better than Whitebeard for killing people like those Kaidos that get extremely tanky and extremely obnoxious to take off the field. Problem is you run into people like Akainu. Now your skill one, fantastic, destroys Kaido. And then you can use your skill two after that to destroy Kaido even more. Further allows you to bamboozle. The only real issue he runs into is just a lot of reds do one tap him and even people like luffy ex luffy i mean he kind of one shots out everyone but we'll get to that in a second but in general there's not really too many defenders that actually can stop you maybe people like Sentomaru and then like brook the runner whole cake island broke just because he removes attack buffs so that's the only thing that really counters and stops you other than that Jack the Drought is actually a fantastic unit, like, great attacker, would recommend pulling on him, I think the banner actually might have just ended, or is still going at this point, I don't know, I'm not really positive, but check the Jack and Queen banner, it was, like, pretty solid for going to get them, so if you can get your hands on a Jack, it's worth it, if you don't end up getting him, then it's a struggle, I don't know, I think he was definitely worth it, and he's actually very fun to play, in my opinion, his basic attacks are good, he has heals, the heals aren't the greatest, but they, he does have heals. And then your skill one almost always one shots, and your skill two can one shot once you have your full attack buffs on, which also gives you damage reduction, so you can kind of use it defensively as well. Next up, number four, our homeboy, the one only. Y'all love him. He's like one of your like the biggest favorite character, like characters in all of One Piece. I wonder actually what he ranked on the character poll, but is our young Doflamingo. Now I'ma throw a warning out here and i'm gonna be honest even dolphy players feel this like i'm not trying to dumpster you dolphy players like he's a very good unit obviously he's number four like for a reason but homeboy i think is ungodly boring to play i don't actually enjoy really playing him that much because he's just kind of uninteractive he's just kind of wall and then you like click click pew 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 and then that's it and then i don't really actually like the skill one either so really I don't have that much fun playing him, but the reason he's good is because he can actually destroy people like a Kainu. Problem being, you won't actually be able to fight anything like Kaido. You will never kill a Kaido. You will. There's a lot of defenders that you'll actually struggle to kill. Someone like Oni Luffy, you'll actually probably never kill until Team Boost. Probably Team Boost, you can kill him. But Kaido, you struggle with. You might. You'll probably actually be able to kill a Kaido on Team Boost. You can pretty much kill anything. But just watch out for that. Overall, his skills are fantastic. He has the wall, so he can protect himself. You can play around it. It gets a little buggy sometimes, but you can definitely play around it. It's not the tankiest wall, but it works. And then your skill one actually does a lot of damage and it causes confusion, which also kind of just like distracts and can like messes with people as they are. So Dolphy, like actually really, 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 really good. He's also blue. Blue has actually been the most neutral color for so long. And so now it's actually one of the top colors in the meta. So it's actually like a blue meta right now. So he's actually kind of running the show. So that fantastic and he's also a good boss battler so he pretty universal unit definitely worth summoning for if he ever comes by uh we're probably going to be getting more like units as we move on with this ex luffy thing being a thing i'll get to that in a second but i'm sure you guys can guess i'll get to that like momentarily but overall doflamingo very squishy kind of can't be squishy so if you run into someone like a green attacker you're probably going to want to run and be careful who you're fighting with that so watch out for people like roger whitebeard jack because they will mess you up Period. But overall, Dolphy, love him. Fantastic. Definitely ranks four. Definitely deserves rank four for a reason. Alrighty, coming in at number three. Our homeboy, the one, the only Magma Kainu. Homeboy is Lava. He's been very annoying. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think his skills, not even so much his incinerate. Now his incinerate is obnoxious, but it's the fact that he's invincible for so long. Invincibility is obviously a very broken thing in One Piece Bounty Rush. I kind of wish invincibility as a whole was removed, unless it was someone's skill, like something like Queen, where you can blatantly dodge it, you can leave, and then you just like won't take damage. Like Queen, like a skill like Queen's makes sense. A skills like Blackbeard's or skills like EX Luffy's or skills like Akainu's, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if they need to be like invincible like damage reduction sure okay cool but like if you could knock them out and knock them back of those abilities i think it'd actually be nuts because they're pretty short and pretty small so really it's not even that much time to actually like mess with them so 
I think, but it's uh, whatever invincibility. I think every EX has invincibility, and so that's the way Bandai is going to keep doing it, and that's just how it is. So I think literally every EX has a form of invincibility, and that's the way it's going to stay every single time. And then that's just why they're going to be so broken is because they're invincible. So it allows players to be bad and mess up their dodge, and then use another skill just to protect themselves so they don't get hurt. So that's why Akainu is so nutty. You also have your knockback, which is good. So you're good at fighting those two cancer green EXs who have been running amok for so long and will allow you to just bamboozle so you kill many units there's a few who are direct counters like people like stanky frank the robot frankie or whole cake island nami or a dolphy like the, all these people are like meant to counter you granted those are all blue so it kind of makes sense blue should be red in my opinion and red should be green and green should be blue in my opinion but like honestly it's not the case for most scenarios like a lot of greens actually kind of just suck now the ex greens is a different story but most green units are not that great i mean whole kick island brook is actually one of the biggest potential like units that i think that no one actually like capitalizes off he actually, like he's actually like, nutty but overall akainu <sighs> I definitely like I he, he's above Dolphin, he's above Jack. He's just so much more versatile, and just because he has invincibility, it just allows him to do so many things. And a lot of his stuff is kind of like weird and buggy. And he also has like the perfect dodging when he's invincible too. So you can be invincible for three shots, perfect dodge as well, which allows you to be invincible for longer. And then you still have those like three shots worth of invincibility. So really, you just have like a long time period of being invincible, and it's straight up obnoxious if you're against like someone like Whitebeard who just hits hard, but not very often. So. Akainu, gross. Number three, he's, yeah, just obnoxious. All right, next up at number two. Now, these two, I actually kind of hard, like, struggle to, like, bamboozle. Like, Akainu's been really good, right? Like, and Akainu is better in certain circumstances compared to this one. But I'm actually going to put Roger, I think, at number two. Given a lot of people can actually kill him now, in my opinion. Like, I think even Dolphy can kill him, potentially. Now, he can, Roger was very easy to can easily kill Dolphy, but you have a kind of you have Jack. Now these are very like even fights that like Roger can obviously go and kill them as well. It's varies, but like I think Roger's still like one of the top. Honestly, I think it could potentially be number one. These are very, 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 very close. It depends on the matchups, depends on the circumstances. Roger has stupid commissary, gives them free stacks, gives them attack buffs up to 75%. And then you also have your skill two, which basically makes you invincible pretty much. So you can't be status effect. You have fat damage reduction. It one shots like anybody. Roger's just disgusting. He actually like ruined the game pretty much. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, the EXs in general just ruined the game. Had those never been a thing, the game probably would have been much better off, but it's is what it is. Huh? Too late to complain. So Roger, King of the Pirates, makes sense. Title fits together. He Kamasaris. He has range, fat range on the like Kamasari. If you build a skill around getting that cooldown, you basically have your Kamasari up at all times. His cooldowns are very short, so he can just kind of bamboozle it with that as it is. And it makes him fairly nasty to deal with. So watch out for Rogers on the field. He will destroy you, and he is very, very obnoxious. <laughs> but let's move on to number one. All right, number one, homeboy EX Luffy. Now that kid, I didn't think he was as bad as Roger, but you literally, not only do you have to worry about his dodge, you have to worry about his skill one, his skill two, all the different forms. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know which one's with, like fully which because I haven't even played him. I don't have him, I don't wanna whale for him. He's for one, extremely expensive and a scam, basically from Bandai. I don't know if I can call it a scam. You know what you're in for when you're summoning for it. So it's not a scam, but like you're literally pulling for like a very small chance to get this. So it is what it is. EX Luffy, kind of nutty. He will one-shot you if he tremors you. He'll one-shot you with that rapid-fire skill. He'll one-shot you when he's in snake man form and does, like, the thing. And you can walk into it is the other thing. Like, you can perfect dodge it. And once your perfect dodge wears out, if you, like, walk into that, you'll actually still just get hit. And you'll just get railed and take fat damage and just, like, die. So. <laughs> and he's a runner. It to, like, to add on top of that. Cherry on top. So, luckily, he's killable. But he also can't be status effect when he's full HP and he keeps healing and he has like fat attack buff. I think 75% attack buff as well. He's just so universal. So that's what kind of makes me put him on top of Roger. Roger at this point, in a way, I always thought Roger was like just a pain. But I'm actually putting EX Luffy. Like I think EX Luffy is actually probably more killable potentially. If you have two people, you can like probably guarantee to kill a Luffy. The two, two like strong and like good players. But if you have like two people against a Roger, they're not necessarily going to kill a Roger. So Roger in a way is tankier. 
but Luffy's probably just kind of more versatile and like actually like straight up obnoxious for when it comes to winning games. So Luffy, I don't even know. It's and if you have anti heal, then Roger's like kind of a piece of cake. Like literally, like Law. Like if you just have Law, you can like destroy Roger. So there's like straight up counters kind of for Roger, even though it's very limited. But people like counters for Luffy, you're not like you don't really have anyone. So Luffy, ex Luffy is like straight up annoying. I don't even know. I I'm actually surprised this was made into a character. I love the concept of the transformations. It was beautiful, like beautiful design, well done for Bandai on that part. But overall way too strong <laughs> but it is what it is this kid it, if, if you can get him best of luck i wish you the best of luck if you're pulling for him if you're not like the banner is on as the time of this video is out but if you if, if you don't if you skip him then that's good for you too because he's so expensive and worth so many gems but holy moly all right you guys that is my top five attacker tier list if you want to switch Roger and Luffy, don't like, don't at me. I, it's fine. It's fine. I, they're very close together. They're, it's circumstantial is really the thing. And it depends on who's on the enemy team for who is better in the specific game. But overall, I think that's kind of the general consensus is where I'm going to put those at. So let me know what you guys think of down below. If you guys think I kind of misplaced, I think one, two, and three are kind of pretty solid and set. But how about four and five? If you guys disagree on me, disagree with me on that, like let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to know. But that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to check out the links in the description, my Discord, my... My Twitch, it's all down there. I would appreciate it if y'all follow that. If you don't, that's fine too. But I'm able to roll and post and I'll be taking off. Yeah, holy peace, beautiful people.